Visitors to Ben's many parks may notice more security this summer. Blake Mayfield looks into the increase in patrols. The biggest negative that we get is that they're really busy. And so, you know, sometimes I think that's the, our success has uh, created that you know, in our parks, especially along the river. The Bend Park and Recreation District says a private security firm was recently hired to patrol Bend Parks 24 hours a day. You know, the biggest trouble in areas is, 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 is the river. That's what we're trying to do is educate people about the wise use of, of drinking. Parks is not the best place to do that. Drake Park has become one problem area, a popular spot for river floaters and kayakers. Lately, the scenery often includes people who appear to be homeless collecting cans and bottles. I thought it was 20 to 28 dollars a day is a good day. Mike says he first got the idea to camp at Drake Park on July 4th after seeing no other encampments and noticing a high volume of visitors leaving behind redeemable items. The cops give me permission and and the employees uh, to be here as long as I uh, keep it relatively organized and I can't fly a sign. Bend PD tells us they have not encouraged anyone to camp at Drake Park. The department reports 45 calls for service to Drake Park since the start of June. A few were for welfare checks for people thought to be homeless, while three were for unwanted subjects. Bend Park and Rec tells us they rely on police and the sheriff's office to discourage camping at city parks. The $200,000 investment in extra security is largely dedicated to enforcing alcohol restrictions and laws for leashing pets and discouraging vandalism. So anywhere between Farewell Bend Park and Drake Park, we're really trying to concentrate our efforts along with the police department and the sheriff's office of being educating people about the dangers of mixing alcohol and water. The district hired Trident Professional Security to monitor the parks. The district's contract with Trident does not expire until June 2025. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.